a year later, the police are still hated and in hiding, and criminals were golden. They're the ones who took over Carol's site. This criminal, this thug, had organized a gang that was basically just looting the site um, on an almost daily basis. My understanding is he's actually convicted murder. Uh, very, very dangerous man. Why don't the Egyptian police just go and chase them away? It's really up to the Egyptian government to figure out how to deal with this problem. Looting in times of political turmoil is, of course, nothing new. It was a scourge of the ancient pharaohs. So tomb builders made false doors and pits and booby traps to try and catch the thieves. But then, as now, it seldom worked. But it's not the looting that Dr. Hawass feels is the most damaging. It's illegal building on top of once protected archaeological ruins, like here in Saqqara. We are near the Stiff Pyramid, the oldest pyramid in Egypt. If you look at this limestone, right here, so was a part of the causeway of the pyramid in Kisibarasi 5, about 4,200 years ago. So that structure behind us was the pyramid, but there was a temple there. We're walking along At the causeway, causeway, which is still under the sand, and then Valley Temple right over that mosque. The mosque was built illegally just after the revolution by people trying to stake their claim to the land, according to Hawass. This is the worst thing that ever happened. Like, to build something right on top of A huge building, like this in concrete. I'm counting above a distance that dates it back 4,200 years ago. This is insane. This man, he thought that he would go to paradise because he did for us. And telling you, this man should go to him. But that's not the story I heard from those putting the final touches on the new mob. They claim the villagers got together to clean up a garbage dump that had long polluted the site. So people are happy with what you've done. Uh, I see a sick bag. I do about them all to have People were celebrating that a garbage dump will become a mob where we will pray to God. The revolution was very good to us. Because this is the first time since 5,000 years ago that you are going to the step of democracy. But you have to understand what it means democracy. Democracy is not to attack a different spot or to go and dig in your house a son. How do you dig for antiquities inside your house? Maybe only in Egypt. It's possible because so many homes in Egypt are built right next to archaeological sites, like this house near the pyramids. It collapsed when looters dug straight through the floor. Six looters were inside, and all the sand came down, and they died. So you're a neighbor. This was your house. Yes. Why are people looking for statues and things like that? Okay, you want the money, there's poor people who are like, you want the rich people, you know? They want to be rich. Yes. Money. You want the money. Are many people in this village doing the same thing? Yeah, digging. Yeah. Money people. And just look at this network of tunnels this looter is excavating under his house, near another Egyptian monument. I'm exploring this ancient Egyptian site because we know they buried the treasures in the belly of the earth. It doesn't belong to anyone, just those who find it. He showed us what he claims is a pharaonic column and burial pit where he hopes ancient thieves had stashed even more ancient loot stolen from royal tombs. But I think it's best to hide this from everyone, so that the secret lies with me. And while he's digging, it's not cave that's scary. It's the jinn, the genies he believes protect the king's treasure. If there are any evil spirits or genies around, I read holy verses from the Quran, which they cannot stand. That's how I protect myself and my soul. In their wildest dreams, this is what looters are hoping to find. This is the tomb of Ramses VI. It's decorated with images of gods and goddesses and sacred texts to help the pharaoh on his journey to the afterlife. But like nearly all Egyptian tombs, it was robbed in antiquity. Looters not only managed to break in, but also crack open the massive stone sarcophagus, stealing the treasure inside. But ironically, it was the digging of this tomb that helped save one of Egypt's greatest treasures because as the tomb builders excavated the tomb of Ramses VI, they dumped all the debris on top of King Tut's tomb. 
the looters never found it. It's a stroke of luck that's unlikely to be repeated in the current turmoil. The Arab Spring movement, yes. has it been disastrous for the I coral nation heritage? In this case, I think, you know, the antiquities are of collateral damage. I love Egypt, I love Egyptians. I've been coming here for three, four years. I love the antiquities, I love the history. And it's just, it's watching Egypt's heritage just sort of going by um, shovelful by shovelful. It's heartbreaking. Richard Engel reporting tonight from Egypt. You can see more of Richard's reporting, including his tour of the secret chambers of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Part of his series called Hidden Planet, we posted it on our website, also on our iPad app. Up next, we embark.